Welcome back guys, a warm welcome in fact back to the wonderful Lake District National Park and this is it really, this is, this is the one I've been looking forward to, the first proper hike back in the lakes. The weather today is superb as you can probably tell by the t-shirt, it feels like summer really is on the way, um, very pleasant indeed. Now in today's video oh, I really want to talk about what for me is the perfect marriage, landscape photography and hiking especially in this wonderful location. Let's crack on. Whoa. So just before I fly on up to the top of the particular fell that I'm getting to today, I'm just gonna grab a quick image right here because look at the light. It's forecast like no cloud, which is, you know, not the best. Most of us can agree for the photography. We're like a little bit of interest up there in the sky, but at the minute, as you can see there, even though it's quite bright, um, the, the sky's looking amazing. Really, really dramatic. Um, so I'm just grabbing a quick handheld photograph here. Um, don't really need to use the tripod to be completely honest. And I'm just using, I'm focusing down here on this, see where the sort of dry stone wall just breaks here i've just walked through there absolutely gorgeous and of course if i just um, darken it down a bit quite hazy but just beautiful in the background looking down towards brother's water straight out the top drawer um so i'm, I'm bracketing because there's a huge dy dynamic range i mean look you can see down here look how dark the shadows are down here compared to how bright it is up there so i do need to be careful with the dynamic range here um but it's all good i'm shooting in continuous high and I'm bracketing with three photographs. Base exposure, ISO 100 f8 and 1 80th of a second. Uh, I'm just gonna get my level up. There we go, to make sure I get a decent bit of the sky in, but without, you know, cropping into the wall at the bottom. One, two, three. Beauty, there's your dinner. Oh man, and that. You know, last time I was in Cumbria, I enjoyed it. It was absolutely, phenomenal um, on a personal level uh, but i wasn't particularly pleased with the photography but that this sort of image now that's what i've been longing for over the past few months ah, stunning vistas and equally stunning light right so i'm off up this way now um i'll head up a little bit further and i want to stop just to talk you through where i'm going and what my plans are for the evening ah. as soon as i started talking the Herdwick sheep are looking looking at me like I'm some sort of loser. What's this lad down here doing? Chatting to a piece of glass. So I've been seduced again anyway by the light, I suppose, in this incredible tree here um, as a foreground interest. It is so twisted, uh, leaning in the perfect direction, looking back down towards sort of Dove Crag and Brother, Brother's Water again is going to feature it in this photograph. Um, Kofa Pike off in the background. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I am really excited about this photograph, I must admit. Now, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a black and white yet. I'm, it's one of them where I'm gonna shoot it in color and I'm gonna sort of decide when I get home. So I'm not sure what to tell you. It could be color, it could be monochrome. I don't know yet, but it's really just a play of light. And it's, it's fun, it's really, really fun to be honest. Now, before I get into this, um, I've got about another hour to get to the top of um, Brock Crags, which is a fell I'm going up today. Um, it's going to be around about sunset. I'll probably stick around when I'm up there, to be honest, especially with the way that the light's going. It's looking absolutely glorious. But hiking and photography, I just don't really feel like much needs to be said about it because a lot of you um, will be out hiking and photographing all the time yourselves, and you'll just know it is the most perfect couple to bring together on a day out, it is fantastic. It cannot be beaten. Um, you know, I love coastal photography, I love woodland, but for me, for me, nothing beats the epicness of mountain photography, really. I think if it really came down to it, you know, and, and hiking, and again, like I was saying in my last video, there's so much more to it than just the photography. If anything, this is my excuse to come out on the hike. Um, I just love it. You cannot beat it. Um, now, this photograph, technically, is a little bit weird. Um, 
I'm bracketing first and foremost because we've got a, a very high dynamic range, so very similar to the last photograph. Um, I've got the Takina 11 to 16 lens on here quite critically because I'm trying to get a bit of a sun star effect. Um, as I'm looking through this tree, I'm just trying to position the camera in a way that I'm looking through the trees and I'm just allowing the, sh the, the sun um, to shine through into the camera lens, shooting at f22 at one of the darker brackets. And we're just getting this beautiful sunburst or sun star effect. It looks absolutely glorious. And uh, yeah, it's all about the light. That's why I'm not sure if the color in the image might be a little bit of a distraction. If it is gonna be um, a color photograph, I'll definitely bring the saturation down a little bit because I don't want um, I don't want any vibrancy in those colours to rule the photograph. I want it to be about the light, that sunburst effect, and of course the sort of it's actually a subtle vista as I'm looking at it because it's so hazy today. Um, but for this particular photograph, I think that's going to work an absolute treat. Um, very excited about this one. Uh, something very different for me actually. The light's looking stunning, guys. Make sure you stick around for this one be a cracker. I hope you like this image and I'm going to crack on up to the top of Brock Crags and have some noodles as well. emotional it's one of them i know like all i do really is joke around on this channel <laughs> so that's what you're used to that's what i'm used to which i love but i just oh my voice is echoing i just get moments like this there's been there's been a couple of tears i'll put that one out there um and the photography is rife i've just grabbed another shot of this scene behind but it's it's like i was saying in my last video in a way i just it's weird, the photography, the camera's got me up here. But now I'm kind of here, I don't really care that much. You know, that'll probably change if it starts kicking off. It's, the light's beautiful as it is, but what I'm trying to say is that this, the Lake District, I guess, Cumbria, oh, mate, it just means, it actually means everything to me. And I think these are emotions that over the last few months I've probably put off. Uh, I've genuinely enjoyed being around Lancaster and that, and like I said as well in my last video, that will continue. Um, but now that I'm actually, <laughs> now that I'm actually back here up a fell, it just hits home, man. Like this is my everything. This is my haven. I am. It's so easy to see why Al Alfred Wainwright like had his ashes scattered here, you know, here being the national park over at Inanimate Tarn at Haystacks. Especially when you get it on an evening like this, it's fairly mild, you know, there's no wind, there's not a breath of wind. It's still, the light's lovely. We've got time, it's still an hour and five minutes till the sunset. This is, this is, this national park is what, like, runs through my veins. I don't know how to put it, man. Right, I'm gonna have my noodles and cry into them. Enjoy, in glee. And then, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll show you this. I've just took a shot of this now, this scene. Pretty much as you've seen it. Big lump on the right hand side. We're pretty much at the top of Brock Crags now. And then Brothers uh, Water and the beautiful light in the background. I think it's gonna be lovely. But like I said, I'm not really that bothered. I'm mad, to, mad for my noodles. And um, I'm gonna explore around a little bit. I can't even talk, man. I'm gonna explore around a little bit. 
and hopefully um, we get one more nice photograph for the sunset. Lovely. Madness. So just behind my head is the um, the summit of Brock Crag. So it's, it's literally another, well, two minutes to get up there. Um, but I'm still so mad for this view back down to Brothers Water. You know, I did a bit, a bit of a scour and ordnance survey match before I came here. And this is the view that I wanted, you know, looking west. I knew I was going to be up here around about sunset. You know, that's the direction that I wanted to shoot him. And I guess it's kind of gone to that loose plan, really. So I'm grabbing a shot here. This could be the last one because what are we now? Mind you, it's yeah, still 25 minutes till the sunset, but that's the last of the light. Of course, when you're in the mountains, the sun ends up going behind them, uh, behind some of the distant fell. So, you know, once that's gone, that's the last of the direct light. And that's what I'm trying to get with this shot, really. Um, the, the last of the light that's sort of here on the foreground up on Brock Crags. And um, again, it, this is going to be fairly similar to the last shot. I've only come up a little bit further, but... Um, it's definitely worth getting, you know? Remember when you come up to Fells, you've made such a huge effort to get up to the top of a peak and to, to enjoy such beautiful vistas um, and for your photography as well, you know, that's your reward. So make the most of it, you know, snap away. Of course, make sure you're still thinking about composition and, um, you know, putting foreground in your photographs that mean something or that help to tell a story. Um, but yeah, make the most of it, defo. Uh, so this is super simple, F8 ISO 100 and 130 of, of, of a second. Don't need to bracket or anything here, it's much darker now. But yeah, just some of these crags here on the left hand side, I've got the wide angle lens on, I'm just capturing a lovely um, sort of wide vista. I knew that this was gonna happen in today's particular adventure. I was gonna enjoy getting some wide shots just cause it's been, it's been a while, you know. Um, the light's not so nice now because the sun's gone behind some of these clouds, but it was pretty nice earlier. Still quite subtle, but I liked it. Absolutely unreal. Um, and yeah, Brother's Water is bang in the center of the frame and it's just this little silver patch. And it really gives the image, uh, it, it's like a really nice central focus point. And we've actually got a few little farmsteads and houses dotted around as well. And, and trees, which I like, because it gives the image scale, you know, absolutely class. So, um, I'm gonna get up to the top now, probably just to enjoy it. Like I said, I reckon this might be the last photograph. The wind, <laughs> the wind was like, come out of nowhere. I mean, it tends to happen after the sun goes down or the wind changes. Sometimes the wind disappears when the sun goes down, but not this evening, carnage. So we're at the top, here's the cairn in Alfred Wainwright's um, pictorial guide to the Lakeland Fells. He says, the cairn is nothing special um, except from a few rocks that have been taken from some nearby <sighs> dry storm walls. He's pretty much right. But I love a cairn all the same. Oh, mate, the wind. Views are incredible. Um, I can see one tarn, angle tarn, there. Then we've got all's water right there. And then of course, if you can hear me, brother's water. Oh, and just for the record, where's he at? Hayes water, or is it there? What are they? Where is he? Hang on, I need to get this right. There, there he is. <laughs> oh, the views are spectacular. Absolutely unreal. Definitely worth a return trip. 
Um, I mean, I've not had all of these views. I've not had any of these views all day because of the direction that I've been coming up. So definitely worth a return. Anyway, it's been an emotional one, to be honest, uh, in, in, in the most amazing way possible. Um, and it always just reminds me how much this wonderful national park means to me, everything. And yeah, thank you for joining me on this adventure. I really hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give the video a thumbs up just below there. It really helps out my content and it'd be hugely appreciated. And of course, comment. I love to hear from you. You know, let me know about the Lake District. What does it mean to you? <sighs> Probably the same. What a special place it is. Right, I'm getting out this wind. I didn't have my noodles after all, so I'll get home and have my dindins. Cheers, thanks for the support, <laughs> and I'll see you on the next adventure. Out. <laughs>